noise for an here. incantation Again. to dispel a goblin portal? That's not exactly the sort of spell we let new students meddle with. Good thing I'm not new or a student here. That's in the restricted collection. I can only release the incantation with the permission. Speak to Headmistress Crisp and return to me with the permissions. You know, it occurs rather this inconvenient. Yeah, I'm gonna grab that just These works are spread throughout go. Wisteria, so you will have to keep your eyes open for them. I'm dressed completely differently from the last time you saw me. What's this? I send you to help Captain O'Hare, and the next I hear from you, you're talking about dispelling goblin portals? Very well, then. I'm getting a clear picture of how Ambrose runs his school. And believe me, it's not a pretty picture. Well, do you want me to fix your problem or not? Take this back to Chatterley and tell him he's to help you to the best of his abilities. Headmistress Crisp hands you a permission slip for you. I understand from your Ravenwood transcripts that you're quite a detective. We have speak with the merchants affected, Oliver Quickneedle, Ophelia Moonreach, and Jeffrey Spellsmith to find the guilty party. Once again, we do side quests. All right, let's see. Affected by trophy parts from this guy. Excellent. I took the liberty of copying the incantation you need while you were speaking with Headmistress Crisp. Okay. Use it with caution. Hugo Chatterley hands you a strip them. of parchment paper with the incantation written carefully upon it. Ye your logic doesn't make sense. Why, why is a spell that gets rid of a, a very specific type of portal? It, it, why is it restricted? I just don't get it. Can, if it backfires, will it create the portal instead of getting rid of it? Like, explain? Hi. Wonderful! I hope it wasn't any trouble. It was. If you're the only one who has permission to enter Pegasus' place, you'll have to perform the incantation yourself. Then why did you take the ingredients? Just take the items you collected from the merchants, and the incantation you got from the library, and follow the instructions. But you took them. You should check in with Groundskeeper Vern before you do anything. Don't worry, you'll be fine. I hope. I don't understand this school. It, their logic is ridiculous. And as for her, she asked me to fix her problem, so when I try to do it, she says the way I'm doing it makes no sense. I really wish they would add spells to this room. You realize this place is doomed. Is it? I'm taking this. Anyway. You came back? Don't you realize right. this place is doomed? You. you brought a means of dispelling the magic portal? There is a problem. The final ingredient in the spell requires the soul stone of the leader of the goblin whore. Oh. The goblins have spoken fearfully of Lord Graustark. I suspect that whoever he is, he's lurking in the tower down the street. Which one? There's two towers here. You should go and defeat this Lord Graustark. Only then can you use the incantation to dispel the portal. Return to me when you have done that impossible deed. 
It doesn't sound impossible. I mean, he's pretty much just a slightly stronger version of these guys, isn't he? And for that matter, if they're called wood goblins, why are they fire? Oh no, it doesn't make sense to me. but this is technically a dungeon, so I should be able to teleport back in if I lose. And I only have one potion, that sucks. Is it time already for my afternoon snack? I don't remember placing an order for wizard, but you'll do. Can I just read this book first? Thank you. After his unceremonious dismissal from the Ravenwood School of Magic, Sir Bainbridge Pigswick devised a plan. He would create a school of his own, where his unorthodox and less common philosophy of magic would be taught. Pigswick squandered his inheritance and purchased a deserted, vine-covered city on the world of Wisteria. Where others saw a series of wrecked, vine-choked buildings, Pigswick saw a magnificent school of magical arts. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay, I'm gonna kill you. Protect yourself against attacks I don't have. Oh, this has a fire trap in it? Cool. Um, should I go for... I'll go for Skeletal Pirate since, it's weak, since I have the weakness. Plus I have a for it. Okay, so why not?
should always try to put tra uh, shields up after traps, because whatever's put on last will activate first. Yeah, you minus 80 any storm attack guy might be tricky enough to put on you. So, you know, even if he did manage to kill me, he'd only be able to keep like an arm if he had to throw the rest out or find some to preserve it. I still have that one power clip sitting around. Ooh, now I have two. I think I'll put a shield up and see what happens. Okay, that's doing 235. Oh, that's it. Well, then I guess I should heal instead of. Or not heal, I guess I should attack instead of healing. You find a small, gleaming gem, shimmering with power. This must be the soul stone groundskeeper Vern spoke of. Well, I do know a lot about soul stones, obviously. Because, you know, my name is Eric Soulstone. And apparently I'm Magus, which is level 30. You follow the instructions in the incantation, using the items you gathered and the soul stone to power it. When you finish the incantation, the magic portal vanishes. No more goblins will come through it. Now we just have to kill all of these. But you know, that's a task for another day. Lord Graustark will trouble this street no longer. You should tell Headmistress Crisp the wonderful news. Yeah, she's be proud probably. of what you've accomplished. She's probably going to belittle me for it and say that she would have, her students would have had it done already. Because well, that's the kind of person she is. Let's find out. Hi, I beat up the goblin guy and closed the portal and fixed your thing. What's that? You've impressed me. Maybe you've been able to learn a thing or two about magic. Despite it, though your aid in the Pegasus Ooh, I got Space the Matter is appreciated, it will well. not affect your participation in the tournament. Speaking of, it is time for you to report to Mrs. Dowager. The first round of magical dueling is about to commence. Uh, I would put these on, but, you know, it would uh, change my health and I'd have to wait for it to come back, so instead I'll just show you what they look like. Uh, got this. It's pretty much the uniform built for the character model, but uh, I think it's pretty cool if you like it. The 
shoes are a little silly, but when you put it all on together, it looks kind of cool. Of course, I already have a set from when my main character did this, so I'm probably not going to keep these. Also, why would she just give me her school uniform? I mean, it's not hers, but it's her school uniform. Why, hello again. I hope you've had a relaxing time settling in. Oh, yeah, totally. Look at All the I did was The relax. tournament should commence soon. Oh, but I've yet to give the students copies of the tournament rules. Oh, no. Could you be a dear and help me out? Oh, sure. I need you to go Some... give copies of no the problem. rules to each of the... Here is one for your own use. And copies... You can find them all in the student dormitory. Return to me when you've given them their tournament rules. The brunching club... Is that supposed to be a play on The Breakfast Club, which is a movie? Hi, I'm here to pass out the rules that one of you are going to cheat. So there's really not point in giving it to him. The tournament rules? Thank you. It'll be great to do. I can't... Can you help me with something? I went to look around, but I suspect that one of the wood goblins took it. Can you... Most excellent. I was concerned about the lack of formalities. I will now meditate on the coming duel. Muda smile upon you. You have my thanks. It is wise for them to enforce rules to this tournament. Best for the safety of all. Yeah, you're gonna cheat, so I might as well not give this to you, but... Rules? I don't need any stinking rules. I've got this tournament in the bag. Yeah. And I'm sure your mentor guy is gonna look the other way when you cheat against me. Apparently, Pigswick folks are known to be cheaters, according to that one guy. I really need to start making markers. Why do I keep forgetting to you? Because everything's taking so much longer. Thank you. Now that that little matter is out of the way, we can get started. It is what before you compete for the Spiral Cup. There is a time-honored tradition students have when they want good luck for a test. You should go into the tournament hall and knock on the spiral cup. But now it is time for your first magical duel. Off now, and good luck. Mm, I think we have time. I have to knock on the cup? Is it going to make me feel special? Oh my god, where is it? The spiral cup is missing. How could that be? Maybe Benedict Glendeming knows what has happened. Yeah, I mean, all he does is stand there. He probably watched someone come in and take it and was just like, nah, they're just renting it for the day. There you are. I noticed the spiral cup was missing, and I wanted to see how you would react to that. This is quite suspicious. You think I did it? Wow, you're you're rude. With the spiral cup missing, the Couldn't tournament will be a mockery. Else. Pigsvik Academy will be known as the school that lost the prize. You should inform Mrs. Dowager about this. She will know what to do. Why do you think I did it? I mean, really? I, I was too busy fixing your thing with the goblins and the portals and such. Why would I? When would I even have time to do that? The what is what? Yeah. Do not worry over much. I am certain that the spiral cup will turn up sometime soon. If it was taken deliberately, it was undoubtedly the work of someone attempting to discredit Pigswick Academy. No matter. Yeah, that makes sense. Even without the cup, the tournament must continue without delay. Please report to Benedict in the tournament hall to start. I will do that, but I probably don't have time to fight anyone, so we'll find out. Hi. Mrs. Dowager is right. The Spiral Cup is but a prize. What is important is the skill and courage that wins it. I guess. 
We will see about finding the cup in due course. But now, it is time for your duel. Who am I against? You are matched against Kisai Shugenja, our representative from Mushu. You must face one another in the Hall of the Hydra. Ooh. Return here when the duel has a winner. All right, so based on the fact that he's from Mushu and it's called the Hall of the Hydra, he's probably balanced, but he might be life. Uh, out of time, but in the next episode, we will fight him. And until that happens, this film was brought to you by Paradox Productions, and I'll see you guys next time.